I made a video about this, I just haven't posted it. I don't know if I'm gonna or not. I was gonna wait till it was done. Because this cross member is like undercoated. So I was gonna mask it off and undercoat it to blend it right in. So when you look down through the bumper, if you can see it, which I don't think you can, it would look factory. And then the ring itself, I was gonna do like a satin black. Baby solid. I was gonna say, if you don't tug on it, you can't get it to move, but that ain't going nowhere. It looks like it's in the middle of the car. So, uh, what are we doing out here? We are. I went to the land today real quick, check out this parachute harness. Then we are cleaning up again. I want to get the car in the dollies and get it over. And I would really like to start working on the. Well, do the driver's side first. So I got to get the lights out. Get a door handle. That's pretty much it. I have never had the emblems over here. So they make the American emblem again, but they don't make the 220 emblem, so I never bothered. So and they're just a little too pitted. I don't know if these are them over here. Yeah, here's the 220 emblems. They're just not nice. You know what I mean? Especially if I put a brand new word American next to them. Which I don't seem to have here. Oh, well, here they are. Here's the American. 64 is different than all the other years. Yeah, for some reason I got three of them. I'd rather have no chrome than ugly chrome. These are the American emblems. That's a 64 only. I'll show you the other year. I have one here. I have a 68. This is a 68. It's actually 65 to 68, 69. They didn't call them an American anymore. Same size. 64 is flat. After that, it's recessed. So, it's only difference. So, yeah, these are definitely too crappy to put on the car, but that would have been right here. Oh, hold on. I'm not going to push it in, I'm just going to lay it there. It was an American, then it would have to 220. That's why they make it an edit, an, edit, an edit program. There you go, it's just laying in there. That's what it would have said, obviously it's flipped. It flopped. So, but that looks like crap, total crap. That's when he got beautiful lenses. So, and these gaskets I've never changed, I got brand new ones. Well, not brand new, they're just mint. I was gonna wait till I painted the car, the whole car to do them. I didn't want to have to take them out twice. So, well, this stays holes. Maybe I'll just put an over on that, people don't know the difference. Holy poop. Look at all this. Is there any reason I can't just buy something and bolt it on? It's got to be a sickness. I'm splitting these cords in half because oh, I'll show you later. But I'm, I got it wrapped around the rear end. I'm gonna use the. Eh, I'll explain it to you later. Let me finish splitting these cords. Okay, I got half this harness on. Another person calls me on the phone while I got my fat butt wedged under this car, and I'm not answering. This. So let me get this side done. And uh, then I'll show you how it's going to lay out. Looks like it's working out okay. It's, it's going right around the tube, right where the ham comes, right after that. It's wrapped around the tube multiple times. Then these actual lines where the canvas part comes through there. Okay, then the spreader piece that would make it an H goes over the top of the ham and then it wraps around the other side. So they can't work their way out, which they wouldn't anyway. So it just keeps them there, I guess. I could trim that off if I really wanted to, but uh, 
I'm going to leave it like this. So let's get this side done. Basically what I did was I just taped the end of it to loop it. Definitely enough line here. I'd love to pull the car out right now and see how long it is, but probably not going to happen. So let's sort this side out. Well, we're getting there. Did it a little different underneath than I thought. But uh, I don't know if anybody can see out there. And right now the line's hanging. But I got them split um, 16 lines per side at this point. And each side goes to each side around the ham. So basically we just wrapped it around. Brought it through itself, you know, through the eyelet, so it can't go anywhere on both sides. Then there's the H piece that goes now goes across the rear cover. So obviously I'm not gonna leave it hanging like that. But uh, I've had it in and out a good five or six times. Every time rolling this up, it's like 30 feet of cord here with all the cord shreds going in your eyeballs. Yeah, we came to a decision, me and Junior, that we were just going to finish up this part and call it done on the shoot for a little while, because that's good enough for now. We want to get the body done. We could uh, stitch the shoot on and all that stuff later. We just want to have the strings on there. We don't just want to have a pack on the back. So the strings will probably be wrapped up nicely. Uh, probably tied in a piece of cork, because I can't tape them, they're a little gooey. Put them in there with a the big spring and seal it up and call it done. And I'll get to the shoot during the summer. You know, as uh, time allows. And it's almost June 1st, I can't tie up the car anymore with something stupid like this. So. It's kind of what I expected. Definitely need a way to keep the cords from slouching down like that. Something decent. So we'll work on it. We'll definitely work on it. So okay guys, we're getting there. That's the remaining stuff. I gotta put the snow blower somewhere. Gotta finally move the speaker. And then it'll just be a garbage bell in the corner. Get the car moved again. There's plenty of room, there's four feet. That's enough room for me to bend over without my butt touching the wall. I've painted here before. I just got to uh, change a couple of dead bulbs. I got to bring out, uh, I got another light fixture to hang here. Um, and I got some dead bulbs up here. There's dead bulbs everywhere. Just got to go through everything, get a little light in here.